Hey guys, Andre here with a quick update about the Nintendo Switch Online app, because it's now finally available for download on both iOS and Android via either iTunes or the Android Play Store. So you can actually grab it right now, and there are links to it in the description below, but there is one major catch, and that's the fact that it doesn't work yet, and I'll show you that in just a second. But the servers aren't live for it yet, so while you can download it, you can't actually do much with it. Um, but I figured we'd still do a quick tour of the little... Um, description here on the on the Android Play Store and also what we can see in the app itself as well. So first up we have some images here. Let's go ahead and check them out. So it says make use of game specific services like Splatnet 2 for Splatoon 2. Here you can see a little preview of it which we saw again in Nintendo Direct. You can invite friends to play with you via social media like Facebook, Twitter, and WhatsApp. I think that's a WhatsApp icon, right? I don't know. Or that might be texting. I'm not quite sure. I'm not hip, guys. <laughs> um, you can invite a friend, a social media friend, a Nintendo Switch friend, or users you played with before. And we can see this is all taking place in Alice's room, apparently. Uh, on, why is her battery almost dead? What? Come on, Nintendo. You can't have a dead battery in your pictures. Alright, next up, have fun with your friends and rivals. We can see uh, Alice's room with everyone's avatar showing up, which is pretty cool, with a Splatoon background going on. Again, the battery is still almost dead. Maybe, hopefully not a sign of things to come for this app, jeez. Enjoy voice chat integrated with gameplay, including team chat. So we can see team chat here is turned on in the picture, with someone with an Isabel icon, which is of course a pretty great icon. Uh, next up we just get a few more pictures of it. We can see, oh, I see what they're doing here. So we can actually see it is subdivided by team. So we have four people on the left and the other four on the right on the other team. So they'll only be able to talk to each other during the actual game itself. Uh, make use of game-specific services, services like Splat Splatnet 2 for Splatoon 2, and that's what I just read. So, we have seen all the pictures. Again, not too much to see here. Um, so, it'll be interesting to see how much is actually offered in the app itself. Seemingly, perhaps not much at this point. Um, and we can even see the reviews. There are some reviews here. Five stars, apparently. It's good, but the servers aren't up yet, lol. So, yes, you were quite right there, Julian. So, let's go ahead and open the app and check it out real quick. You can see we got the Switch logo here, against the sea of red. This app might make me see red with it not working quite yet. Uh, so yeah, we can see it connects to your Switch right here with a very simple diagram. Experience your online gameplay, or enhance your online gameplay experience on Nintendo Switch. We continue onward. Invite your friends to play with you using your smart devices, so we already saw that. And then enjoy voice chat while gaming. We can see the two teams subdivided there. That's cool. It's a little neat animation there. And finally, we'll click the arrow. And we can try to sign into our Nintendo account. Now, I would do this, but I'd rather not show my email on this video. But rest assured, it just doesn't work. Um, it'll give you a connection error. So, yeah. Unfortunately, uh, it doesn't work yet, but it should work by the time Splatoon 2 comes out for everyone. Which is in just a couple days. So, with that, guys, thanks for watching. Of course, stay tuned to Game of Spain for lots more on the Nintendo Online app, including a full tour once it goes live. Um, and demonstration of how it works. And everything else related to Splatoon 2 as well and Nintendo Switch, of course. Catch you guys later. Stay fresh!